And it was an interest, uh, interesting dynamic. I don't, I don't really mean to talk so much about it, but I've never met anybody in any field quite like him. It's this kind of a, of an inner domination that you can't explain. Just being around him. You know. Once in 1953, we went down to visit him on this island. It was called the Little Island, the Isolino San Marco, because that was the place where the San Marco Chapel had been built, and that was the whole island, was the San Marco Chapel and its little grounds. It was no longer a chapel, and it had been given to him by the Italian government for the remainder of his life. And they were the only family on it, and the chapel itself still had the kind of concrete things that you see in movies about 13th and 14th century edifices, you know, these thick kind of walls. And we went down to visit, and his eldest daughter, Vali, was there, and Cookie, and I, and, I, and, 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 and the old man, that's it, just four of us. So we were sitting at lunch, and I was sitting on his left hand, and he's sitting there, as he often did, it was in such a realm of concentration that you never knew quite whether you could address him or not or what would happen. And he's eating a bowl of soup, as if to say, I am so such an ascetic, I don't need the kind of food that, you, that you're eating, I'm just eating my soup. <laughs> and he's eating there, and suddenly his spoon stops in midair. And he turns to me and says, You know the music of Catalani? <laughs> so I said, Well, I know some excerpts from La Vallée, Maestro, but I certainly can't say I know it. He said, You know La Vallée a little bit, yeah? So I guess his hand reaches out, grabs my wrist like this. Come, vieni, vieni con me, come with me. Yanks me out of my seat. We go right away from the lunch table where the other two are, are, are sitting, the other two women are sitting. We go in the room, he sit here. He sits at the piano, and for two and a half hours without stop, he plays and sings, and he had a voice like this. <laughs> <laughs> like this, you know, but with great passion, and plays the piano very well. And for two and a half hours, he played from the first note to the last note of La Valle of Catalani. Finished it up, turned to me and said, He's beautiful, no? I said, He's beautiful, see? <laughs> Takes me by the wrist, brings me back goes right to the next spoonful of the same soup, sits me down, and that's it. No discussion, nothing. What kind of soup was it? <laughs> <laughs> cold broth. At that time it was, it was cold broth, yes. <laughs>